can you remind us what kind of vaccine this is? Is it one or two doses? How does it kind of stack up to Moderna and Pfizer's mRNA mm. vaccines? Yeah, it's different than the M mRNA vaccines. Um, it, it's, it's more old school. It's a, a I'm going to mispronounce this word, a recom com a recombinant. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Recombinant yeah. nanoparticle. Yeah, nanoparticle. Thank you. Um, it it so it's 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 not the it's not an mRNA vaccine. So there 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 is that differences and and that's important differences from the the point of view of speed. The mRNA vaccines as we've seen have been very fast. They discovered the molecules very fast. They were first to market. They got it all done within a year, which is amazing. Um, and, and Novax is trailing by about six months, but they do their vaccine does have some advantages in manufacturing. I think they're going to be able to manufacture because it's easier, it's simpler. The, the mRNA vaccines are more complicated. Um, I think Pfizer is manufacturing all their stuff in-house and Moderna, I believe, is farming it out to other people, but it, it's very complicated, whereas Novavax is going to be simpler. So I, I think they're going to reach a higher number of doses. Ultimately, um, they think two billion, um, whereas the last I heard of Moderna, I think it was one billion. So uh, Novavax may ultimately produce more vaccines. And, uh, and there, uh, there's also distribution differences, too, because uh, Moderna's and Pfizer's has to be frozen or, or kept really cold and Novavax's can be kept on the shelf and it lasts longer. It lasts, uh, you know, a, a year, I think, for the Novavax vaccine. So it has a longer shelf life, um, not as quick. So, I mean, those are the major differences, but the major similarities is all three of these vaccines are going after the spike protein in, in COVID-19. And that's really been the key for the success of the vaccine. So they have kind of a similar safety profile and a similar efficacy profile, which is very high efficacy in all three of these vaccines. And Novavax is two doses. Two doses, yes. We yes. should mention that. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. another similarity it, with Moderna and Pfizer. Uh, yeah, we it, did, it, go it, ahead. It's slightly different. Let me, let me, let me uh, sure. talk about it a little bit. Uh, Moderna and Pfizer basically give you two, two doses of the same vaccine. So one dose of the vaccine and a month later, another dose of the vaccine. Novavax slightly different. The first one is the vaccine, and the second one is their Matrix M adjuvant, which just increases your immune. It's not the vaccine; it just increases your immunity, and um, and that's a really important part of Novavax's um, business. That 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 adjuvant, and it and it dramatically improves the efficacy of their vaccine. So. Uh, you know, the, the people have been talking, can you, should we just do one vaccine and skip the second one? In Novavax's case, I would strongly suggest you, you get both shots. You get the first one and then get the second one. Um, it's definitely worth your time and, and you know, they're free. But, but if you want it to work, I would get both shots. Mm -hmm.